What's up, gang? Welcome to another exciting episode from the Pop Analyst. Today, we're going to look at some of our WonderCon exclusives that we picked up. We didn't pick up a ton. There were some, as you can see, it's a Disney theme. Uh, no touchy. For those who have seen the CBC and we, we can not wear masks anymore and we can socially distance less if you've been vaccinated, um, still no touchy. Just saying. Great movie, Emperor's and Groove, which will, will play in to our overall theme today. So buckle up and uh, let's roll into some of these awesome pops we picked up. So first, I want to start off with, I'm going to switch it up. Let me look at some of the cans we got. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and get away with the first non-Disney one that we selected. Uh, what I got here was Woodsy Owl. Focus. As you can see, he is one of 7,500. Woodsy Owl. The back of him. And... I did get the common. Let me tell you what though, these cans were extremely hard to open. Don't know, Funko, less, less ability not to be able to pop it open. So, you know, not that Funko's watching, but if you were, it'd be nice to not have to feel like I gotta get a saw to get it open. Anyway, uh, let's uh, look at Woodsy Owl. And, uh, of course, we'll throw these on the spinner. I didn't get the chase was a flocked. I didn't get the flocked. So, eh, you win some, you lose some. Um, but that's the only non-Disney exclusive we picked up from WonderCon. Uh, the other ones that we got, uh, we have, um, Miguel from Coco, which surprisingly I've never seen. Um, my fiance says, huge, loves it. Um... I haven't watched it. It's on my Disney Plus list, as one would say, um, to watch. It's just one of the few Disney movies I've not seen. Uh, but yeah, it's the Miguel Soda. You see, he is 10,000, which is a little greater than Woodsy, who's 7,500. And there's the common Miguel. And we actually pulled a Chase, which is the one she wanted anyway. So, um, yeah. And I'll give like a 360, but with the guitar and the face paint, it's really awesome. So yeah, we only got two sodas. I wanted a Rocketeer, but that one sold out. Um, we thought about getting a little gruesome, but that one also sold out. So there was really no way to get those. Um, but it's okay though. I mean, we really, this wasn't a huge con, which WonderCon usually is not. Of course, the next one coming up is going to be San Diego, which is going to be awesome. <laughs> Um, so I'm really kind of excited looking forward to that. Uh, if you're looking, a little plug in here, if you're looking for any new information on some of your Funko, 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 anyway, Funko exclusives out there, uh, definitely check out my Instagram. It's the underscore pop underscore analyst. I uh, have all the updates. I get the news, post it, any possible spoilers and so forth um yeah so uh love to see you guys over there as well so besides that um, i'm gonna take a look at this next one so one of my fiance's favorite movies of all time is beauty and the beast and we have some i think in the <clears throat> prior video i talked about ecc how we got Belle in the green dress well continuing the green theme uh, we have the Enchantress. And as you can see, she's part of the same line that the Green Bell was out of. Um, only ones we're missing, of course, is Beast and Gaston. Uh, we're missing quite a few, actually, so that is on our bucket list of the get. Uh, but like I said, I will do a 360 video when we get to the end, uh, just to kind of show the breakdown. Um, so yeah, so not only did we get the Enchantress, uh, which was awesome, um, it was funny how they did her instead of doing, like, other characters, like there's a wardrobe, you could do the footstool, you could do, I don't even think they have, what's Gaston's buddy? I can't remember, he's crazy about Gaston, 
but they could do him. Um, there are like multiple characters they could do, and they just don't have those. It's weird. So, um, the other ones that we picked up uh, from WonderCon. This is from my all-time favorite movie. If you didn't get the shirt, this is a reference to it. We're really stoked to get it. I think it was the the two that I wanted the most from WonderCon, and I was really worried they were going to sell out. Uh, but I was able to get them. Uh, also, one thing to note on kind of backtracking here a little bit on the Intantris, it is the actual con sticker. Uh, funny thing is, Hot Topic was when they got theirs in because it's exclusive to Hot Topic. Uh, we got ours from the Funko Shop. But you're either getting the con sticker, the Hot Topic sticker, or the shared sticker, which is weird. So, but we got the con sticker. One of the few pops we have with a con sticker. So, uh, but yeah, pretty excited about that. Next up, though, for real, love these pops. Can't wait to see them out of the box. Uh, from one of my favorite underrated movies, by the way, we have Yzma. Uh, let's see if I can whoop, block the light. There we go. And of course, she has some of the original stars: the original Yzma, Kronk, um, Paka. I think it's Paka. Type. And then, of course, Cusco. Love Cusco. Have the llama from Hot Topic. And then we have Yzma as the cat we got from another convention. And then, um, yeah, that's all we have from Emperor's New Group. Of course, we have these now. But what's really cool is they sold these in a pack, uh, which is awesome because, too, they're in their lab coats. And if anyone's seen that movie, it's a really funny part of the movie itself. Uh, but next we have Kronk, and he is holding the po poison. Who's this poison? Poison Kill Cusco? Yeah, that one. So, really stoked to get this one. Uh, like I said, that is the shared sticker, in case anyone's wondering. And then, of course, on the back, same characters we have before. Um, and you can see he's wearing his sandals. Whoop. He's wearing his sandals. Um, also, this is in the thousands now for Disney. So, yeah, pretty awesome. So, yeah, I really love these pops uh, I think this was a, a good con wasn't too crazy um, like I said we didn't win the lottery so we had to uh, just hope we got the ones we wanted to be honest with you and while that was a little frustrating it was definitely good to get the ones at least we wanted out of the the, the con and I really hope that it'd be nice to win one of these uh, it'd be really nice to finally get into one of them but but yeah, so that's really it. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and roll some of that footage on the spinner. And uh, yeah.
So yeah, that's our haul. Um, love these pops. It looked great right out of box. Uh, what was your favorite? Did you win the lottery? Did you get what you wanted? Oh, have you ever won the lottery before? Anyway, uh, definitely make sure you click that like button and see any of the other videos that I have and always subscribe. I think that's the direction that thing goes. Anyway, <laughs> uh, also just kind of a shout out again, if you want any of the new information coming out about Funko or anything in the future, definitely check out me on Instagram. I am the underscore pop underscore analyst on Instagram uh, for your latest news and notes. Love to have you on there. Uh, and then, you know, we'll see you soon. We've got some great videos coming up where we're going to sh some short videos, kind of showing you the pops, as well as some of these videos. So uh, until next time, Pop Analyst out.